All right, we're rolling. Going hot. Quiet, please. All clear. Nice, man. Yeah. What do you Even think? I know, get that tail. Shoulder hurting. <laughs> <laughs> um, the main purpose for today's event is that we had a couple of um, sound designers working in the French office, in the Ubisoft office on Ghost Recon Future Soldier, uh, that were involved with working on the sound effects that were going to occur with the weapons. First thing I want you guys to concentrate on is your posture, okay? What I want you to do is just stand with your feet shoulder width apart, just normally like you'd be standing on the street. Before today, neither Xavier Montels nor his French colleague Diego Berndt had much experience shooting real firearms. Just one time was a uh, Colt 45 and a uh, Desert Eagle. Hands out in front of you. As sound designers for video game producer Red Storm Entertainment, their mission is to create a fantasy world that looks, and in this case sounds, like reality. The sound team leader decided that we needed to get them some, some time on weapons just to give them a a feel for what it really feels like to experience uh, the firearms because that's what we're trying to get across in the game. All clear. Red Storm Entertainment prides itself on creating authentic environments for its video games. Their most popular games take a page from the Tom Clancy books, where gunfire is a constant companion. The company recognized the best way to create a realistic virtual world is to get its sound team some real world experience. <laughs> We'd like to welcome you all to our event today. We'd like to thank uh, Trigger Time for hosting our event. Um, I'd like to go over with you some basic uh, range safety rules. Today's shoot covers everything from single shot suppressed pistols to automatic rifles. Special Forces units. In addition to shooting the weapons, the sound team is tasked with setting up various microphones to capture the source audio for future use. We should definitely put the 416 as close as we can On that to, side? to the weapon, either side. Okay. And we'll get that like straight on. All right. The Red Storm unit spends the next several hours firing and recording various weapons. The hands-on experience allows the designers to capture pristine audio in its natural environment. Is that what you're looking for? Oh, that's perfect. The bigger, the better. In addition to capturing the cacophony of sound, the designers also benefit from learning the tactical use for each weapon. We use this uh, on the SWAT team also for uh, if you're in the middle of a neighborhood or an urban environment and you take a shot, it doesn't disturb the neighborhood. People don't know what's going on and less likely to get riled up. Requiring very little encouragement, they convinced this reporter to fire one of the biggest weapons in the arsenal. This 50 caliber BMG sniper rifle is effective from a mile and a half away. That's assuming, of course, you have an effective shooter. Cut that. <laughs> Back at Red Storm's RTP office, the sound designers are immersed in manipulating the raw audio they captured in the field. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, that the biggest thing is it's great to have source that sounds this clean, but choosing how you present this to the player is the whole, you know, that's the biggest part of it. Because all that matters, I could play you this all day and we'll be like, oh, that's really cool. But how does it sound like in-game? One of the biggest things that we try to do when we're listening to these sounds and then making them is to make them visceral. When you fire your weapon, to us, that's the most important thing in the game. I mean, that is our main character. Accurately replicating the soundscape is just one part of Red Storm's authenticity program. The company regularly contracts outside consultants to showcase the latest in weapon manufacturing and design. The authenticity separates us uh, from the company that just finds the pictures on the internet and uh, best guesses the details that they can't actually see. So we focus on that sort of stuff. Uh, and having the, the advisors come in to, to show us their actual weapons, uh, real wear and tear, real damage, real materials, uh, just adds to that level of authenticity that a lot of companies don't have. It's usually not a gigantic difference between authentic and not authentic, uh, but it's the small accumulation of the details that will make it look correct versus not look correct. Weapons artist J.D. Craig's professional commitment to authenticity stems from a personal connection. I have a lot of military family. We would play the games together, and I would just sit there and listen to my father go, that's not right, that doesn't look correct, this is the wrong vehicle for this kind of branch, that kind of thing. So growing up listening to that same kind of stuff, I can come into this job and kind of hopefully fix some of that. 
So our big thing is we do these visits, we come and get the weapons, and we'll actually look over every little detail we possibly can to make sure that the full model has, you know, the correct irons, the number of uh, Picatinny rails, the bolt detail, all the inner stuff, the curve kind of style. The commitment to authenticity runs throughout the company. So what exactly do you have going on here? Vice President of Product Development, Elizabeth Laverso, describes the Clancy series as a thinking man's game, where authenticity is mission critical. With the Tom Clancy brand, you know that you're getting um, authenticity and realism. We try to stay as true as possible to what real military tactics and operations would do. When asked about the violent nature of its games, Laverso points out that the games do not glorify the shooting of civilians. You have to realize the Tom Clancy brands are mature rated games, so they are not targeted at youth and children. And in fact, you're penalized in our products for useless sense of violence. So uh, we do try to take a responsible look at uh, where our products are, um, where the storylines are based, and you know just exactly how the missions play out and we really focus on the actual military conflict. What's cool about it is like as authenticity coordinator and as someone who maintains friendships within the armed services, Travis Getz takes pride in honoring those he considers real life superheroes. For me they're heroes because they put their lives on the line for their fellow countrymen. That to me makes this job worthwhile that I feel like we in our small way honor those people and what they do.